So one day, I was up inside the Arab corner store. So I stepped on the scene. And I'm inside the store. You know, I'm looking at the menu. You know, they have the little, you know, the section where they make the sandwiches and stuff like that. You know, so I'm reading the menu, this and that. The next thing you know, I see Tawana coming out the back room. Because in back of the store, it's like a stock room. They have a little door where they open. You know, where they keep like some of the stuff where you could bring out to the front. Like the beers and stuff like that. So I see Tawana come out the back room. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. What she's doing back there? I know she don't work here. I never seen her, you know, doing no stock. That's a stock room. I never seen her putting no beans, you know, like on the shelves. No beers inside the freezer. I ain't never seen her do that. So I'm thinking maybe... They let her use the bathroom, you know, because they have a bathroom back there, too, for the workers. So I didn't really think too much of it, but I was thinking, like, what she's doing back there. You know, so now I'm just continue looking at what I want, you know, trying to see what I want to get. I want to get, like, a sandwich or something. And 30 seconds later, guess what? I seen an Arab guy come out that same back room. Something ain't right. You know, the first time when she came out by herself, I gave her a pass. She could have been doing something. She could have not. So I gave her the pass because... That doesn't really mean anything. You see one person come out. You understand? But when I seen him come out, Arab guy, and he's the cousin to the guy that's behind the counter. Because now I'm thinking, you know, because I already know she's messed up. Okay, I've been telling you this every video so it can sink in because I want you to know that and believe that. All right? So now, here's the crazy part. After she left, he left, guess who comes back and pop up on the scene to wanna? Now she came to the counter. Now I'm staring right at her. I'm watching everything she do. You know, because I be looking for that dysfunctional behavior so I could prove myself right. So now I'm watching her. She went up to the counter. She said, let me get a pack of Newports and a big red gum. You know the little big red gum? She got the pack of Newports, big red gum, said thank you, and walked out. Did you hear what I just said? She said thank you and walked out. She didn't pay for it. They gave it to her for free. Who does that? What Arab man give Tawana something for free without nothing on the back end, without getting anything in return? So that right there let me know something ain't right. But remember, first she came out the back. I gave her a pass. She could have been using the bathroom. Okay. But then 30 seconds later, the Arab guy came out the back. And now she come back into the store and gets something for free. A pack of Newports and a big red gum. This had me going crazy. Because you already know what I think about her. You already know that. My mind is really spinning. She was in the back. He came out the back. And she got something for free. So I'm shaking my head and just thinking. I'm like, you know what? I want to ask the guy behind the counter if she works there. Because I ain't never seen Tawana come out the back room before. I never seen no Tawana do that. You understand? So I asked him. I said, hey, Tawana that came out that back room, do she work here? Because I seen her go to the back. He said, nah. I said, so... Why she's in the back? He said, oh, she went to use the bathroom. I said, yeah. He said, yeah. I said, okay. And then he said, she's good peoples. And I'm like, yeah, she good peoples. Now what a rap man say to Wana is good peoples? Most people view her loud, barbaric, attitude, masculine, don't listen, not submissive, only care about money and material items, turn your children against you, use the system against you. So that threw me off when he said she was good peoples because I never met a Tawana that was good peoples. So now I'm on a mission to find out what Tawana was doing in the back room. I don't trust Tawana and I feed her with a long spoon. I don't trust her. You understand? So now my next step was to find out what she's doing in the back. So I already told myself. I said, all right. So now I'm like, okay, next time I see her go back there, I'm going to just run to the back as fast as I can. Bust the door open and run back out the store as fast as I can. You understand? Even if they call me like, yo, yo, hey, where you? even if they think I stole something, I'm going to just run and, you know, don't go back for a couple months, wait till everything die down. You know, and I'll just have an excuse by then. The Arab guy asked me, you know, why I ran out the store. But anyway, I was waiting. You know, I went there a couple times. I didn't see her. The third time I went back to the store, this is like a month later. We went to the back. I'm in there again, you know, looking what I want to buy. I see her come through the door. I act like I ain't see her. Then I see her walk to the back room. Then when she walked to the back room, I timed it. Because I said, if I run back there now and bust that door open, because I'm not going to, you know, just run back there right away because they might not be doing nothing. I waited. And then, you know, I just ran to the back as fast as I can. I kicked the door open. And I seen them, they both 
looked at me like they were shocked. You know, like they jumped. The Arab guy, his eyes was open, his pants was down. And I just ran back out the store as fast as I can. Then when I was running out, now the guy behind the counter was like, yo, yo, yo. You know, so I ran one block down the street. Because I already told myself, I'm going to run one extra block, you know, just in case somebody try to chase me. So when I got down the block, like one block away from the store, I turned around. I seen the Arab guy in front of the store with both his hands up in the air, you know, like waving. Like saying, hey, yo, yo, what happened? Yo, yo, what happened? What happened? You know, and then I just looked at him and I just kept walking. Yeah, but what I saw was Tawana with the Arab guy, okay? And other people spoke about this before. Yes, it's true. They're doing favors to get their new ports, a pound of chip chopped ham, Little Debbie snack cakes, Snicker bars, Twix, Reese's. You know, probably something for their baby daddies. Probably some blunt wraps. You probably get a couple, you know, malt liquors, St. Eyes, Old Gold, Old E. No, and this is why, you know, you can't take her seriously. You can't be in a relationship with her and think she's not going to mess around. She is going to mess around on you. It's in her nature. Especially if she's getting paid. They paying her for doing that. She's not doing it for free. Sometimes what they do is, if they don't give her cash, she's allowed to take whatever she wants in the store. Like she has a limit. Let's say her price is $50. They'll tell you, okay, take whatever you want for $50. So it could be a pound of chip chop ham, some turkey, a butter roll, you know, bacon, egg, and cheese. It could be diapers, you know, pampers, you know, for her sons. So it doesn't matter how good she looks. Her problem is mental. 